darlings welcome back to my channel today I have a new tutorial prepared for you on how to do that very narrow strap also called a spaghetti strap so you really love this technique when I showed on Instagram so I figured I will share it here as well for those who want to really see the detailed steps so without any further ado let's switch to the sewing machine and start our video so to create a narrow strap or a spaghetti strap you will need a fabric of course to make your strap it can be much wider than the strap you want to create we will trim it later on no worries and second thing that you need is a piece of string and a string should be a little bit longer than your strap so how narrow the strap can be depends on two factors first on how thin and lightweight the fabric is because it will be much easier to pull out the lightweight fabric than it is to medium or heavier weight fabrics therefore you can work in a more narrow field and second it does depend highly on the width of the string you will be using so the more narrow the string the more narrow the strap and before moving further I just want to pay attention that I switched from my regular foot to the left side foot because we will be sewing as close to this edge and we want to really really get close to it now back to the sewing so take your strap Take the piece of string and fold it in half like this. Try to aim that the string is exactly on the fold of the fabric. And now we will just simply sew and secure the string in the position. just a few seams so that we secure it here because we will be later pulling it out and we want that string to really really be secured at the top so now we will just rotate our strap like this fold it in half making sure that the string is here then we will place it here so that the edge goes right near the string however you do not want to sew through the string because it will then block you from pulling the string away later on in the process so you can sew as close to the string without actually touching it secure the stitch as usual at the top and then continue to sew while I'm sewing I am folding my strap and making sure that the string stays exactly on the fold Secure the stitches at the back, of course. And now one step is finished. So here how it looks like. And now we want to trim this all excess fabric. So don't worry to leave as little seam allowance as possible. A few millimeters is fine. If you will leave more than a few millimeters, it will be difficult for you to pull out the string. So you just want to keep that seam allowance very, very narrow. And now at the top, the top part will be the most difficult to pull out so you just have to really reduce the bulk there and you can do so by also trimming it here and then cutting this corner like this 
And now the fun part, which is called the pulling of the string. So just start slowly pulling the string. Pay extra attention to that top part because it will be the most difficult part to pull out. But once you pull that thing out, everything else should be pretty easy to pull. So, now that you have turned your strap inside out, it's almost finished. Of course, trim the hair so that you separate the string from the strap. You will not need it any longer. And now all that's left is just to press the strap and that's it. You can use it to your garment. And here is an example of how the narrow strip looks finished and attached to the garment. And this is a dress that I recently made. This is it for today's tutorial and I hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my sewing tips. And of course, follow me on Instagram for my daily looks or my techniques that I share there. Thank you again for watching and I'm wishing you a wonderful day again. Bye!